Hey there everybody and welcome back. Uh, we've got game two here in the second round of the losers bracket between Patsy and Iskar Jarek. If you haven't seen game one, spoilers mute me out for a couple of seconds. Uh, in the last game we did see uh, Iskar absolutely demolish Patsy. So hopefully in this one we can see a bit closer of a result as we swap in now and start the game. So we've got in the one o'clock position our blue Terran Patsy. And then in the roughly oh, 240 position we've got our orange Terran Iskar Jarek. So another uh, the second game in this series of a TVT between two Silver League players. One with a strong siege, uh, oh, straight, uh, one with a strong stim timing, who that has uh, carried him through the losers bracket so far and is absolutely demolishing all those who stand in a pot opposition, and the other one who might even pull out his trademarked build, the cloak banshee rush. So uh, this time. Unlike last, Iskar has the jump on the early production and is slightly ahead. Unlike last game where he was AFK for a couple of seconds and Patsy was about half an SEV in front of him until he got supply blocked, unfortunately. But that's alright. Now, I'm not sure if I've talked about this before, but on the main page of the thing, I'll just swap over now whilst the game begins. So what we've got here is uh, we've got three pl three place prize kind of thing so for first place we were offering a korean account so if you won you would get a, a key a an access key to hop on the korean server for seven hours or 14 days whichever came first the same deal with second place only it was going to be a sea so south east asia australia key and then for all those others you got heartbreak but the chance to play in a competition. So yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, so we'll jump back in now because I smell something fishy, perhaps. So even though the supply depot was down, Iskar didn't elect to go in. So I'm not sure if that was a misclick or what's happening here, but a second SUV being pulled to scout as well, which is what has raised my, aware, uh, my alertness, I guess we'll say, and one in gas as well. And it looks like we're going to be seeing a proxy two racks, just out the outside the natural of Patsy, and we'll see how he uh, reacts to this if he can even spot it, and how that goes for him. So morphing the orbital command to get that sick, uh, sick production, and it looks like he's even going for a one 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 at the moment. Yeah, so as I was, as I was saying before, uh, we had to quickly jump back in game to make sure we didn't miss anything. Uh, we've got two two kind of keys, uh, and then the idea of that is if you win the Korean one, you can go and see how you go, test your medal on the Korean server. Uh, but then if you win the SEA one, uh, you can either create a Smurf account to do some fun mucking around on, have some fun, or you could even give it to one of your other friends to bring them into, uh, bring them into the StarCraft community, give them a go to experience what it's like, and then, yeah, see how they go. So unfortunately, Patsy doesn't know the spawn positions for this map because uh, he's accidentally just rallied a marine straight into this cliff face, and it looks like Iskar's going to finish off his wall off, his delay wall off at that. So pumping out some serious marineage uh, soon to be with the third uh, third barracks finishing, and unless Patsy does something drastic, he won't be able to yeah do much it's about this. So he's going to lift off the starport, and it looks like he is going for his famous cloak banshee build that got him out of the bronze leagues. So the difference between Patsy's uh, Cloak Banshee build guys and any normal other kind of Cloak Banshee build is he doesn't just get one and harass. He lulls you into a false sense of security to make you think that you don't have any uh, any trouble coming. And then he stacks on about eight of them and then pushes in. So what we'll do guys is I'll get this out of the way and we'll see the engagement here. 
So uh, being supply blocked at the start isn't the greatest of uh, greatest thing to happen when you're trying to defend against a three racks. But because his car is building up behind this, uh, I'm not sure if it's all initial or not. Because he's expanding. Uh, he's got his supply depots, he's building their CBs and he's chucking up some bunkers whereabouts inside the main. So inside past his base and he's going to lose quite a few SCBs of this exchange, if not all. So trying to take out this uh, starport before the Banshee comes out, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So we'll be able to like, check how many kills this hero Banshee gets trying to defend his homeland. Things looking quite dire at the moment for Patsy as he accidentally rallies that through the line of fire and it looks like we're going to be seeing another very quick GG. Oh, well not another very quick GG, the last game was 21 minutes long and the tech lab going out and unfortunately for Patsy, it looks like he might be exiting from this tournament fairly soon. Still, still three marines at a time coming out and another two racks adding being added on just to add insult to injury and make sure that this is the most all inish. So I wonder if this, oh unfortunately that Hellion wasn't able to line him up and yeah, this is going to be it. So his car's just going to walk into the mineral line of Patsy and destroy all that's there. I'm mackering up, building two SCVs at a time, very nice. Uh, the huge transfer of SCVs like we've seen in all the other games. So, a really all round good performance from in there. Pretty well executed, three racks, and it doesn't look like Patsy has much else to do, and he has to GG and leave the game. So, what that means, guys, is that Iskar Jarek has uh, once again uh, proceeded. Oh, hang on, I'll see if I can get this up on the thing. No, it doesn't look like it will. So he's uh, once again uh, gone through to the next round of the loser's bracket. Uh, so he's currently uh, lost one match, but then he's just won two of them 2-0. So overall, on, uh, on wins and loss, he's two losses, five wins in game score. But he's one loss, two wins overall. So when we come back guys, it looks like, uh, I'll just quickly check one more thing. So it looks like we're going to do one more round of losers bracket games and then we'll be jumping back into the winners bracket. Alright, so don't go anywhere, keep watching and we'll be back soon.